Okay, Chloe, let's chat. Who are who me actually means who are you, who am I? This was a really interesting, really cool toy. It was different from anything else we'd seen. It had a hundred different facial expressions, could say a thousand different things. If you have a huru on your keychain and you're standing in the lunch line um, and somebody you've never met before has a huru in their backpack, the two will sense each other and they'll start a conversation and that leads to you making new friends. So it's all about social connectivity, it's all about social interaction. We figure out what's relevant in the lives of our target audience. We spent time with kids and their moms, and what really emerged was this notion that the interaction between the huru, the toy, and the guru, the kid, was what made this product different and special. The idea was to create a place where the toy could come to life. We created a virtual environment, we brought top animators, top designers, and created a mashup engine. Kids make their own cartoons, get really close to the characters, fall in love with them, and in the end, that would create desire for the toy. The toys themselves were unique in that each one was a different character. They each played a different stereotype within a high school. There was the jock, the cheerleader, the class president, and all of these characters had different personalities, different sayings, and would interact with you in different ways. Very unique in the market. Nothing's ever been done like this before. Now, of course, anytime you're marketing a toy, you have to worry about COPA restrictions. Marketing to children is, is very well regulated. Rather than really pushing hardcore product messaging, we let the kids interact with the characters. We realized right away that we needed to make the creative rich and have a lot of options for the kids to play with and engage with. Kids could literally pick and choose characters and sayings and settings. Not just typical backgrounds, but fun backgrounds on the school campus, on a bus, in a disco, on a cloud. And gave them an opportunity to bring these hurus to life any way they saw fit, and then share it with their friends. The entire experience was wrapped in a very cool contest, um, weekly sweepstakes where we were giving away prizes and toys. The characters were able to create a life of their own that lived outside of the packaging. Our whole philosophy is engaging the consumers where they naturally live. So we wanted the content to live on channels like MySpace, YouTube, Facebook, where these users are naturally interacting and sharing and commenting on each other's content. Having the kids talk to these characters through social spaces online let us really focus on and illuminate what made these toys different. We didn't just speak to kids, we also spoke to parents and bloggers online at sites like Parenthood.com, iVillage, Club Mom, Geek Parenting, Cafe Mom, and positioned this mashup site as a great activity for parents to do with their kids. People were posting videos to their Facebook profiles and their MySpace pages. Um, and so we had Huru Humi content going everywhere. We were able to bring these characters to life before the toy even hit shelves to start building that momentum. And that's truly content to commerce. When we're able to take what's going on in the online world or create an experience that drives the offline world to create purchase intent. And ultimately, you know, we think we did that in a very big way. It was a win at the top for the client and for us that we're really proud of. Mm -hmm.